arguing with my dad about who gets to play VR glasses first is kinda weird. Also, the house is shaking for some reason. What a day for Sky! This looks like the hurricane they were talking about on the news. But Daddy doesn't watch them because he doesn't trust the government. Now he probably thinks it's all in virtual reality. Sky is really scared and looks her fear right in the eye. There's no time to be scared. She has to save her sister right away. Ruby's choice of weather for sunbathing is unfortunate. Just in time, Sky remembers the bunker her father built. The girls are safe. It's obviously been a long time since anyone's been here. We're gonna have to clean this place up. The vacuum doesn't work for some reason. The girls even tried to beat it up. But why use a vacuum cleaner when there's a tornado? Let's pick up all the trash and bring it to Sandra Willow. That's Ruby's classmate who hates her because of her boyfriend. By the way, she found something in the box. LED lights? I think we're having a party. Yes. Time to start a fire in this basement. Not literally, of course. But there's still no electricity. Maybe torches are the way out. Well, or put up a wind turbine. We can use nature to help us. Turn it on. Eureka! Now the girls wow. have a light. Yeah. Wow. Hmm. Sky found a foam tube and decided to measure it with her hands. One hand, two hands. This is Ruby. It's time to put her to good use. Got some tape, got a knife. Let's start the operation. The girls need something to sit on. This mattress will come in handy. Get the pallets. Sky seems to have taken a lot on herself. She's covered in spider webs. Or is that Huggy Wuggy's fur? Now they have a cool bed. You can rest and calm down. But first, remove the black yeah. monster from Sky's head. Ruby is terrified of spiders, and Sky is terrified of getting hit with pillows. The bunker is still a little dirty. Sky's using the leaf blower on the desk, but it's a little weak. She wants to know what's in the boxes. Help her out. Maybe you have a guess? Write it in the comments. Oh, who's that psycho? It's dad. Apparently the VR goggle turned off and he figured out what was going on. Whoa, looks like he got carried away by the tornado. He saw weird circles in the fields and came running here down the tornado. He also stopped by the store and bought all the essentials. Weirdly enough, Walmart was open. I wonder what he brought there. Okay. Yeah, looks like dad got a good whirl in the tornado. Oh, yeah. No, he's always been like that. The important thing is that the family's yeah. together and everyone's okay. Except daddy. <laughs> Cleaning is way more fun when you have awesome girls' generation songs to listen to. Ruby is dancing as hard as she can. She even found a partner. He's a great guy. He never argues with her. And Skye just woke up and wasn't expecting to meet her sister's boyfriend. She thought it was Ruby. She's really scared. Her sister might get mad if she found out that Skye was hugging her boyfriend. But Ruby isn't like that. She's glad they're friends. She's screaming with happiness. Ruby went through old drawers. Maybe she can make something out of them. For now, it will be a makeup table. She wants to stay beautiful. Sky just woke up. While her sister is putting on makeup, her chair is gradually shrinking. Oops, interesting eyeliner. Sky liked the crepes too, and she decided she needs them more. Doing your makeup in front of the camera is too hard. You need a normal makeup table with a mirror. Much better now. Wow, that's Ruby's unusual makeup. Sky got hungry and found Daddy's canned food. He thought of everything. They're very lucky. But how can she eat it? Summer camp taught her to find a way out of any situation. She can use the lid as a spoon. Tastes like dog food. Wait, where did Ruby get this spoon? Turns out there's a lot of them. 
Daddy took care of that, too. Skye is sure that the lid spoon is much better. And these plastic utensils are better for decorations. She was just looking for something to make a frame for the mirror. It's even more fun to break the spoons than to make them out of can lids. It's a good thing we had some paint. And there's the frame. Looking in such a mirror is much more pleasant. Oh, Ruby saw us. We love you, too. Daddy is really hungry, but he can't eat canned food anymore. He feels sick just looking at them. What? He's ordering food? What a weirdo. Whoa, looks like the delivery works after all. But only if the tornado is moving toward your house and the delivery guy has time to stop by. Daddy's very lucky. The food's still hot. Even the soda. Wait, those are potatoes. How did this happen? The tornado must have hit that kid pretty hard. It wasn't the delivery guy's fault. It was the storm. Let her deal with it. The delivery guy's job is to make the customer happy. Sometimes they have to do weird things. But this guy was able to negotiate with the elements. Daddy likes it. He gives it five stars. This courier gave him an interesting idea. His toolbox is such a mess. And this tornado owes him. Let him clean it up. Sky decided to try a TikTok makeup tutorial. But she got interrupted by an unexpected shower. Hey, she already showered today. Can you make it warmer? It's just the pipe. Like an experienced plumber, she patched up the leak with duct tape. But now the poor thing is all wet. And she decided to use the tornado to dry off. The main thing is to tie herself down. Time to wake up Ruby and support her sister. It's hard to resist nature. But it was worth it. The tornado clearly understands beauty. Ruby wants her hair done too. But Sky stops her just in time. And Daddy's happy with his hair anyway. What will the tornado do for him? Whoa! Unusual suggestion. But maybe a little much? I still have to eat canned food. The smell and taste is unbearable. But there's nothing they can do about it. They can only distract themselves from the unbearable feeling of hunger by doing arts and crafts. Ruby likes her dinner to be hot and look pretty. The presentation makes it taste better. And if this device is beautiful and knows how to eat it, that's amazing. Sky wants to eat nice food too, not meat jelly in a jar. What? What? Dad was going through some old boxes and found his old stuff. This is what he used to wear to parties. Hopefully these things will give his daughters warm feelings too. Daddy got us presents. Who doesn't like presents? Yeah, maybe that's not what they were expecting to see. But it's the thought that counts. The girls don't want to upset Daddy, so they decided to pretend like they like it. Just in time, oh, wow. he remembered Ruby's boyfriend. <laughs> he doesn't mind trying on dad's old stuff. He even yes. likes it. <laughs> Sky likes to clean to pass the time. Thanks to her, it's spotless. But someone doesn't seem to appreciate her work. She just mm -hmm. washed everything and it's already a mess again. It's like a hippo ran through here. <gasps> but it wasn't a hippo, it was Ruby. The water in the bucket's already dirty, and we don't have an unlimited supply. The older sister is going to get yelled at by her younger sister. But don't fight. Ruby suggests making a filter for the water so that it can be clean again. And you can not only wash the floors with it, but also drink it and wash your face with it. She watched a wilderness survival video, and a guy there made a filter like that. Ruby was more interested in the guy, but she remembered something. It turned out pretty cool. Let's see how clean the result is. Now you can sell this water and say it's from underground springs. Great, now let Ruby clean up after herself. What, did she think she could get away with mud? Well, no. Looks like Ruby never learned her lesson. Daddy decided to take a break from watching TV. He likes this presenter with his alternative version of the origin of the tornado. It's all a government conspiracy. Ruby found some kind of wire, and she's interested in it. But he won't give it to her. The same cord from the conspiracy show's host's microphone. Apparently, it's Ruby's microphone now. Now how is Dad going to find out what the tornado is up to? 
You can't take what's not yours. You have to give it back. It's better not to get involved with local TV hosts. The tornado won't calm down. What? If it's even shaking in the bunker, can you imagine what it's like outside? Sky has no idea, but she's already gaining TikTok views. Who's ever seen a girl bra before? Sky has been told more than once that she's lightheaded, but she didn't know what that meant, and now she gets it. But what can she do with the chandelier now? This tornado just breaks everything, and the girls have to fix everything. Looks like they got an idea. This chandelier needs a new design. It looks a little futuristic, but they're also literally living through an apocalypse right now. There's even a robot! How did Daddy even get in there? The girls have already taken 501 selfies. Because of this stupid tornado, all the pictures are blurry. And the tornado won't calm down. It's only going harder. Maybe it's not a tornado at all. Dad watches boxing. He used to be an athlete himself, even though many people think that tic-tac-toe isn't a sport. They just don't understand. Another tornado? Ugh, come on! Even Daddy is scared, but he has his own reasons. Sky accidentally found an old photo album in the nightstand. Daddy showed them to her classmates and friends all the time. And no one can see this. Ruby, what bad timing. She wants to know everything. Sky had to lie that it was just bills. No bills, no debt. Sky was so worried that she cut her shirt. Ruby is amused by this for some reason. She's making a new craft. Whether it's a rug or a cheerleader's pom pom, she loves both. And now she'll have something to wipe the dirt off her sneakers. And now Sky has a crop top instead of a tank top. Everyone sacrificed something because of the tornado. We're tired of being cooped up in here. Daddy got a notification that the tornado is over. This room can be rented out, and they can have a steady passive income. Now it's time to get out and see what's left of their house. It's kind of a nightmare. It's like a tornado coming through here. Oh, it did, right? It's gonna take a long time for the family to clean up and rebuild everything. But the main thing is that everyone is safe and sound, and they sure know how to create beauty around them. Sky decided not to waste any time and got to work. She started in her room with a positive attitude and quickly got it done. She's so good. At this rate, by tonight, she'll have a whole new house built. Would you like to see it? Sky loves looking at her own reflection. Her room has to have a mirror in it. Now yeah. it's always by her side. Plus, Ruby's appearance acts as a reminder. Wow. She's such a mess. Yes. But the spill is actually helping Sky out. Now the mirror looks even better. Ruby takes care of her younger sister, Sky. How about some coffee? Huh? Oh no, we're out of milk. But there's a milk patch. Pat wants to ruin the blonde sister's morning. Blondes can't tell the difference between salt and sugar, right? Pat can't even read, though. Now Ruby is confused. Will you comment below and tell her which one is sugar? She really needs your help. Betty loves playing what? guitar, but someone covered it in makeup. It was definitely those blonde girls. Ugh. They don't respect oh. rock and roll. This guitar is Betty's best I'm friend. So sorry. Come on, Betty. Shred so hard their ears bleed. Oh, she made a shout. Oh, wow. Now she has a place to store her ex's skull. It's actually huh? just plastic, but she likes freaking people out. <laughs> The blondes are still hard at work decorating their room. So much black and orange. Let's work together. Sky thought Ruby would do everything for her while she messed around. They'll never beat the gingers like this. Now they'll be sleeping on clouds like angels. Aw, a pink canopy too. Nice job. Oh.
Blondes have something else to do, but <laughs> it's a secret. Their hair isn't naturally curly, and they do their makeup every day. Ruby accidentally set the fan to maximum power. Or was it an accident? Now all Sky's makeup is on the Ginger Sisters. That's not okay. Pretty smart prank for a couple of blondes. Let's get rid of this mess and strike back. We have to show them who's boss. Cat and Betty are pros. Don't worry about them. They'll be sure to pull off something amazing. Wow, a volcano. It looks cool, but there's a downside. The hot lava. You have to have a fire extinguisher with you at all times. But Troom Troom Trick cares about fire safety. Now the volcano is full of neon lights. Oh, all right. <laughs> Meanwhile, the blonde sisters ordered a bunch of pom-poms. They're using them as bed decor. That's so cute. <laughs> it's getting hot in here. Are those redheads dabbling in arson again? Some AC should help. That's better. But now the ginger girls are freezing. They like it hot. Oh. Hmm. So Betty made a torch. That's enough to heat up their half of the room. Great ginger job. Yes. <laughs> Even the blondes like it. They can roast marshmallows on here. The redheads are making some french fries. Just add some hot sauce and enjoy. Mm. They're like animals. Mm. The blondes can't handle this. Mm. They need to teach their sisters some manners. I'm not sure they can be taught. Uh. Look, they're monsters. Yeah. They're using utensils as weapons. How about a spoon catapult? Now the blondes are covered in trash. Mm. They should keep decorating their room and worry about themselves. Oh. Ooh, yes. an angel wing. And yeah. another one. That's beautiful. <laughs> Don't tell the other girls I said that. They're bad sports. Cat and oh. Betty got a ping pong ball yes. cannon. That might hurt. Good thing Cat has bad aim. She's a very nearsighted, huh? but huh? she refuses to wear glasses. The ball ricochets <gasps> to hit them instead. That's what you get for being mean. Blondes like their room to be clean, yeah. so they're going to tidy up today. Their roomies made all this trash, but where did this feather come from? The redheads hate it when it's clean, but they love pulling pranks. All that hard work for nothing. This made their cleaning pointless. This isn't going to go over well. Ruby found a light to put up on the dark wall. Now it's as bright as the blonde sister's smiles. The redheads are keeping busy. They have a new plan for how to ruin their sister's vibe. They'll regret putting that up. Calm down. Now you don't even need to go to the tanning salon. The blondes are spending a lot of money on shopping trips. Sky has a magic camera. Let's test it out. On them, of course. What if it's dangerous? Whoa, where did they go? Does the camera yes. put people in the photos? That's dangerous. We better be careful. <laughs> oh no, Sky sent Ruby into a photo. How do we get her back? Maybe she can stay alone forever and all this stuff will be hers. Hey, she'll come back if you guys like this video. Will you help her out? Cat likes vacuuming while listening to heavy metal. She wants to be a rock star like Betty. She's probably just going to get a lot of likes on TikTok. Cat could never. Want to try hanging out in a vacuum? Sky is worried about Ruby. Is she okay? We have to get her out of there. But Cat's not done cleaning. You'll have more fun together. Don't try to blackmail me again. Now Kat has an audience for her concert. As soon as Kat falls asleep, the blonde sisters wake up. They're scared of her now, and they have to get revenge. Sticking her hair to the wall? That's too much, even after everything else. 
Take it down! <laughs> but it wow. didn't go according to plan! Her hair comes out along with the wall! <laughs> the blondes are allergic to dust! Now the girls are on a stakeout! They're keeping an eye on Kat's treasures! That's a bold move! Yes. Mm -hmm. The older sister decides One, to go two, first. But three, Ruby's go. not strong enough to break it! Sky is going to make herself as heavy as possible. This jump should do the trick. Go! But Kat has fast reflexes, so everything is safe. Except her epic fail. Betty is about to shower. Oh, finally! She was stinking up the whole room. Ruby wants to teach her a lesson by helping her clean up her act. Here's some blonde shampoo. <laughs> this is her last resort. And actually, uh -huh. it looks good on her. Now Betty is blonde, so she's on Sky and Ruby's team. What about Kat? She's getting used to her new look, wow. too. Mmm. Ah, oh, little sisters. Huh? She's just being contrarian on purpose. <gasps> Only rock music can turn Betty back into herself. She's playing as hard as she can, and it's working. Now we have two Bettys. Which one do you like more? Comment below. The redheads think that digital sound will never be as good as analog. The blondes can't handle it. They'd rather listen to Katy Perry in their headphones. Meanwhile, the redheads are turning up to Black Sabbath. The music got their parents' wow. attention. They're shocked to see what the room looks like now. That was a big surprise. Dad thinks the blondes have a better room. What? Mom is very offended. She thinks Kat and Betty did way better. They're never going to get along. Guys, can you help us out? Comment below and vote for the best room! Thanks! Cat's room has smart lighting. 2,000 modes. Something for every mood. And she's in a fussy mood today. That's what Joe is for. He'll do whatever she wants. Cat wants to get a tan today, but it's too busy at the beach. That's Joe's problem now. Joe is a problem, more like. Jenny has a light. Why not turn it on and see how the place looks? She'll have to make some sort of holder out of cardboard, right? Her school was made out of cardboard and everything was going great until it started raining. She won't let anyone destroy her cardboard chandelier. Now she has a ray of light in her room under the stairs. Oh, I mean her room at the Troom Hotel. Kat's smartphone lets her choose her own technology. She cares more about the color than the features. She always starts her day with fresh juice. Just throw everything from the fridge into the blender. Beauty is the most important thing to her. Green is trendy right now. And Kat is always trendy. So fresh and refreshing. It makes her so happy. Jenny is curious about Kat's breakfast. She's never seen a blender. Is that something that creates new colors for things? Her gray notebook is so bland. What flavor are her notes? She won't give up. The blender chopped up the paper so well that Jenny wants to use it to decorate her cave. Oh, I mean her luxury suite. Cardboard is the best building material she knows. It's the staple of her home country, Cardboardistan. That always cheers her up. The porter is here to help Kat, but making her happy is tough work. Just ask her exes. Joe has a sneaky idea. If he moves something closer, it'll seem bigger. If only that worked on his paycheck. Jenny uses this moment to steal the packaging. Styrofoam is more than just a source of pollution. It can be used for life hacks. She can put this up as soundproofing. Cat's snoring makes it hard to sleep. Cat's wardrobe is as boundless as the sea. She has special sensors in her closet. Joe's room is just past the wall, but the sensors are very sensitive. 
And that's how we ended up in her closet. Fancy meeting you here. Get out of here. The hotel said they'd make all my wishes come true. So make it happen. Cat wants a drink. Stupid butler. That's too much. She's on a diet, obviously. That's better. Cat drinks too many diet drinks. This is getting dangerous. Jenny is digging around in the trash. Cat's straws are interesting. She can make a decoration out of them. Her room is worth more now. Cat is getting tired. Her shoes got ruined by all the other tourists. They were staring at the sights, not at Cat. She can't live like this. Good thing there's a shoe shining station in her room. Well, it's just Joe again. It's gonna get him a nice bonus. Did you like our new video? Then be sure to like and subscribe. Where should we build a secret room next?